everybody, it's Christina here. Welcome back to the channel. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. So, um, my daughter just got back from, we just got back from her, the doctor. She's four months old, so she was getting shots. And it's, oh, it's rough because I want to cry with her. But, um, I didn't, so I'm proud of that. <coughs> Excuse me. Those are drying out. Oh crap. Let me uh, wrap these back up. So, um, sorry guys. I know this is the second video I have filmed today, but, uh, life's not really handing me a break right now, so I'm kind of like creating my own, I guess you could say. Yeah, right there. And my desk is a complete mess, and I need to clean it. And I'm just kind of waiting for my husband to get home so he can take her for a few minutes and I can work on just getting my desk back into an order that is not. Dog. Okay, you know, you are just dragging it everywhere. You are being a mess. Sorry for that. My dog got on the cord for my lights. Also, as a throwback, I found my high school calculator. I remember I had to have the silver one. And, um, it was, like, $200. But I bought it myself because I had a job, my own job. And I was like, I'm special. I'm getting my own. And then, uh, I went to go and take my, um... test with it well first actually that was the second one the first one I bought I have it around here somewhere is my TA TI 92 and it looks like a computer like it grasps for you it does everything for you I gotta find this thing and it was it was like a hundred dollars and of course they don't sell those anymore so I had to go through and I had to find it oh, that's my appointment for her next and uh, it took, it took a lot to find it. It was not an easy find. Oh my God. <coughs> Excuse me. So yes, my daughter is making sounds in the back. Listen, she's just not happy right now. God, I have got to get this off the screen. I have. The boxes from opening all the things that I've gotten. I've gotten. I bought brand new curtains like yesterday, and my husband spilled a candle on them. While he was talk, his friends were over, and he was talking, and uh, he went built. He bent back to uh, go grab something. He ended up spilling it right on my candle. That angered my soul. Or the candle, because this first off, it's a Bath and Body Works candle, so you know they're kind of expensive. And then second off, you just ruined my brand new curtains. So, yeah. Not happy with him. My daughter is crying, but right now I'm having her sell, sue for, soothe for a minute. Because mommy needs a break. And I need to have my desk in some semblance of order. I mean, it is, honestly, there's just junk everywhere. And I don't like it. I'm like, like, I'm controlled chaos, but like, this isn't even, this isn't even controlled, this is just, oh my god, that's the cat, I thought that was my baby, I was like, my god, she's really angry, no, that's the cat, so, um, yes, my baby is not happy, though, but also, she just had shots, so, I mean, I now I'm having trouble telling the difference. But I'm just going to let her self soothe for a minute because, again, I need a minute. I need a minute. And I guess I can start checking things off of our to-do list. Because, uh, um, yes, we need to do our to-do list. I'm so kind of upset because, like... Alright, so, 
my daughter's name is spelt weird and I get that but it looks exactly how it or it's pronounced exactly how it looks <laughs> and today at the doctor's office they got it really wrong and um I was just like oh god at first I didn't know who they were calling and I noticed that um nobody had stepped up so I was like okay um who are they talking to and then I realized oh they're talking to me I've now I've gone and done it I've misplaced my book why can't I keep up with anything why I can mark this off Luna please get your claws out of my couch thank you okay so I have done some things I still have um, one thing I'm not even I'm not gonna do because it's not my job but uh, it's my husband's I'm hoping she cries herself to sleep and I know that's bad to say and I know that it's frowned upon but sometimes you need a break something is supposed to be coming out and I don't know what <clears throat> I don't know. <clears throat> so, um, I still have some things from Etsy out. I just cleared that. Why would I do that? I need that. Why is nothing going the way I want it to? So I still have out of the the almost $700 order, I still have one thing that hasn't even shipped, which I guess it'll take it a while. Something that's in pre-transit, which, okay. One, another thing that has not shipped, something else that is in transit. So I have four items that um, still have not shipped, either have not shipped or um, are not here. Please don't unplug everything, Benny. Get off the cord, please. Bentley out. Bentley, come out. Come on. Go out. Buddy bear, please. You can get out. Don't even know because if you shut off my lights, I'm not going to be a happy camper. There. And I just, oh my god, I know I'm probably not going to post this, but I do have some other things in my cart that I am looking at getting. Oh man. Something I was really hoping to get is not available. But everything else seems to be in stock. Um, I'm, I don't know if you guys are interested, but is anybody else, um, interested in doing, like, plants and... God, that child. I love her, but that child... I need her daddy to take over because last night we didn't really sleep and then I'm waking up to chaos but yes um two of the thing what can you not get past this there you go buddy there you go you can get on past you can get on past now sweetheart um one of the things is a mystery box um and the others are not but one of them I'm really excited to show you because it was $63 almost. Guys, like, I love Etsy and I love supporting shops. I do. But God, this gets expensive. What? 
There's just some of the cutest things, and I don't know how people do them. I just don't. Oh, I wanted the milkshake. Where's the candy one? We'll go with milkshake. Or ice cream. Don't worry. Oh my god. I don't know why, but I keep gravitating towards one certain thing, and I need to stop it, because just, like, I have enough crap. But I really love the videos where they show you what they're making. Because I love watching, I love watching them, but I really don't need to be buying anything more. Now, um, I am going to do, because everything, I know everything is starting to become, um, shopping hauls. So, I'm trying to do more of, like, talks. So, that way, um, oh, hi, Clint. That way, not everybody gets bored. And in case you're wondering and can catch, see this out the tiny corner. I have a Mr. Potato Head that is, it's called a Pop Tater. And it is a Freddy Krueger. Um, it used to be in a box, all pretty and protected, but my dog got it when he was a puppy, um, Archer, and chewed it up. So now I'm, like, stuck with, um, stuck with him like that. But, uh, I can't blame Archer, he's a puppy. I should have put it up, and I didn't. But just because I assumed... Alright, guys. Should I do another, um dog toy box I think I might but I'm kind of scared to um just because everything in our last one was uh and that I mean I feel really bad because that was not worth it like, I don't mind, you know, things being a dollar. I don't mind the Dollar Tree stuff. But I do mind when you don't get what you paid for. Like, if I'm going to be... If I'm going to be spending $18 after shipping and everything. You know, you want something to show for it. My dogs just... They weren't there for it. So I'm thinking about definitely getting, um, <clears throat> hopefully, some better treats. Because I know I did Bark Box, and I love Bark Box. And I think, I think it's wonderful. But, um, I was, I kind of just forgot to redo my, uh, subscription. So I just gotta renew it, but um, I wanted to find like, I want them to kind of go through the toy that they have because they got so many toys with BarkBox that uh, their toy bin was full and then I was going out and buying some. So I'm trying to like give it a minute to uh, chill and let them chew up some toys. But my dogs, they don't, they don't like tearing up toys. They like to play with them and play with them and play with them and squeak them. But until they naturally tear up, they don't like to do it. I am so bad at brushing my hair this morning. Granted, I was in a hurry, but this is not a fun look. I literally have rats in my hair. She's still not asleep. I can hear it. But also, um, bless you. I'm hoping she goes to sleep soon. Or I'm hoping her daddy gets home soon. Because he was supposed to be doing something for me. And, um... He can't do it if they're closed. But that's probably my luck is he forgot he's gonna do it. Oh, 
He probably forgot he was going to do it. But, you know, it's okay. It's, it's fine. It's just fine. I don't really... Guys, I'm just going to tell you. I don't know rings. Oh, yes, today, um, the thing my husband is supposed to be doing for me today, um, me and him are going to go and get that jewelry um, appraised and see if from um, that uh, mystery box and see if it's real and see if um if we're gonna i'm not really wanting to keep any of the pieces because i'm just not i mean i'm not really interested in any of them there's one piece i might keep if it's um if it's not really worth anything um but my big thing is i want to know if they're real i really really want to know if they're real because I spent $300. Let me go grab this box. Okay. So, this was the $300 mystery box. And, um... Let me find out how much it was after taxes. After taxes and um, shipping, it was $334.25. So, again, if it's worth something, I will be happy um, to, to, like, order again and do, like, a bigger one, maybe the next step up. But if it's not, and this is all, like, fake stuff, then I'm going to be somewhat upset. One of them, which I'm really questioning, is this. Because it says it's an Italian designs with Stefano, 24 karat Euro Puro, Oro Puro gold bangle bracelet. That is not a gold, that is not real gold. And that is not, um... They have it at one forty seven seventy nine. I know this designer. And, um, I think this one might have been swapped out. Because there is no way. I, I, I don't know. But I don't think his stuff looked like st this. From what I remember, it was actual, like, gold bangles. Not this kind of looking stuff. This definitely does not look real. So, this is definitely on my list of most likely not real. And then also, my next thing is this. Um, it's supposed to be 18 karat vermil bead link necklace. To me, it screams fake. If you could see that, it looks fake. Now, I'm not touching any of this because um, I don't want to get my fingerprints on it. And I just want to see. But, like... The place I'm going, I'm not sure will buy any of this. And then I'll probably be stuck trying to sell it. But this is a ruby and diamond heart pendant. And I'm hoping that out of everything, I'm able to sell this. Um, this is supposed to be sterling silver. This, this one's only, it says $84.95. I do think they have these prices marked up a lot. And this is a natural amethyst. And they have it at about $100. So, and then I guess these earrings. They're sterling silver fauceted pink rose quartz. And they're for $54. I do think that they're all marked up. But if I can at least sell these things... Oh, this one too. Maybe this one. It's a multi-gemstone pendant for $98.95. If I could just sell these couple of things, I think I would be very happy. Because, I mean, if their prices go, then I have about $300 here. $400 almost. And that would be nice. Then I would, if I could, you know, at this point, if I could just make the money back on it. I'd be happy. Now, the coins, I do think the coins are cool, and, um, 
I don't know about you, but I do feel like if they're real, if you could tell me that they're real, and they're actually worth this much, I'd be extremely happy. Because, um, sorry guys, that is more than you needed to see. It would just make me extremely excited. Because I feel like this box is kind of, I don't know, it's different. And then, I don't. I know these aren't going to be worth anything, maybe, because, uh, I don't know. But I think it would be awesome if uh, I can at least make my money back. Because $300, $334 for this was kind of steep. But again, if it's real and I can sell it and I can, um, or even if it's just real, I will look at buying um, the Next Step Up box. This was the $300 one. The Next Step Up, let me see. I think it's five hundred. I'm gonna double check. Yes, it's five hundred dollars, and then it's a thousand. But um, I really think they're interesting, but I'm really, really, I'm just really not sure if any of it is real. God, I hope it's real. I know I've said this in like almost every video since I opened this, but I hope it's real. Cause I, I mean. I just had, I didn't leave a bad review, I just left a neutral basically on Etsy review from the dog box. And I get that it's a mystery box and there's no really guidelines because, um, it's a mystery and, but like, I just want one to work out. I do like the fidget boxes because usually they turn out well, but... I mean, I'm just, I'm not, I'm worried, okay, that's all I gotta say. I'm very worried on how everything's gonna turn out. And my phone is going off. So, that is it for today. Um, I've spent enough time ranting and raving. So, I will hopefully see you guys next, or I'll see you in a little bit, hopefully, with an update on how much this box actually costs. You guys have a great day.